Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I've got a very interesting problem today. So you'll notice I have an MPI injection car in front of me. I've been working on this thing for months, doing an engine swap, things like that. I noticed yesterday during the cam break-in that there were some very interesting electrical problems going on with the gauges. So I'll come in here. So the voltage gauge, the oil temperature gauge, whenever the auxiliary fan would come on, the oil temperature gauge would go from wherever it was reading over to full hot and the voltage gauge would drop off to 8 volts and I also noticed that the hazard lights would flicker slightly so I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that for you now so I've got my Sykes hooked up here so if I just activate the radiator fan you'll notice that the signal lights flicker Also, the oil temperature flickers a little bit. But voltage gauge drops off considerably as well. So what do I think is causing the voltage gauge to flicker, the oil temperature gauge to spike to full hot, and the signals? Well, I think they're all related, and I think it's a grounding problem. So let's go take a look at the... Uh, wiring harness drawings and I'll show you exactly what I mean by a grounding problem and how all of those problems are connected to the same place. So before I do any modifications I will disconnect the negative ground strap here. This is a brand new ground strap this is a clean connection so it's not a ground strap problem back here. So what I have here is the main earth distribution wiring schematic for an MPI Mini and you'll notice that there is a lot of stuff on this page, but it all ends up terminating here on this earth header. And if we come into the section here that shows the oil temperature gauge, it also lists voltage gauge and clock. They're all connected through this ground point here, or harness connection point here, and then it goes into the earth header. The cooling fan is connected here, along with the headlamp leveling motors, the alarm ECU, so it all, all connects into here. Um, we also have the Direction indicators are up here, and uh, the rest of the instrument pack is grounded over here. So a lot of the grounding happens right here in this um, this earth header. So this earth header, the connector starts C-550, uh, and each one of these is pin number 1 through 6, I believe. So showing that all of these systems are connected through one central ground point, I'm going to go ahead and pull up this electrical connector, and we'll show you uh, what's going on with this. And I can also show you where the position is on the wiring schematics as well. But just realize that a lot of this stuff is connected through a central system. And that's why we're having a problem. Because I think what's going on is the cooling fan isn't having a very good contact here. Or maybe this ground point here is bad. And is trying to pull um, power from these other circuits to run it. Because it is a very heavy load. This schematic here shows the power positive side of the harness for the power distribution. Again the voltage, oil temp, and main uh, control module uh, relay all runs off the same sort of white wire setup here. And you notice that the cooling fan is not connected to this system. So since the cooling fan isn't attached to it, it's definitely a grounding problem. And this is the cooling fan specific wiring schematic. So there's the fan, there's the fan relay. Once again, the computer turns on the fan using this light green and black tracer and the purple wire here is the main power feed so uh, the connection that we're interested in once again is the earth since that's shared with all those other gauges so that's the only place that can affect those other gauges is via this earth connection point so the next thing i'm going to show is once again connector c550 so this is uh, connector c550 and it shows us a nice little picture and it gives us the connector location so it's hiding on the firewall bulkhead here. Now you also notice that this is the drawing for the connector itself and we were interested in connection number six but this is what the connector looks like and this is what the colors look like on the each pin out so um, yeah this tells us exactly where to go so this connector here has its own little ground bolt um, it's hard to see in the drawing but I'll show you in the car itself so this is the connector that we're going to um, chase after and, and see if we have any problems with corrosion or whatnot. So as I just showed, the connector that lives underneath the 
plastic water expansion tank has a ton of wiring going through it and specifically the sixth pin on this connector is what runs the cooling fan along with the rest of the ignition system and injection system so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move the bottle out of the way to get access to that connector and I'll show you what I mean um, and show you what it looks like and we're going to give a very thorough cleaning but I'm really curious to see what pin number six looks like because like I said I'm pretty sure we had nothing but a grounding problem every time the radiator fan came on it couldn't pull enough current through its ground circuit so it was trying to find the ground elsewhere and it was grounding through the gauges I think that was the problem but once I get this apart I'll know for sure so I've got the bottle removed here and you can see down there I'm pointing to it with my finger that's that six pin connector that the factory drawings were referring to and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove the bolt and then I'll pull the whole connector apart so here's the connector it's got a little uh, little tab you gotta press to open up looks like someone's been in here with some dielectric grease so at least it's had some maintenance but the pins are not shiny so I'm gonna go ahead and actually deep pin this and it comes out as a complete assembly all these are connected to this one metal um, tab here so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this whole thing apart clean all these pins reassemble it with dielectric grease and same thing with this just give this a big uh, clean out and then I will go ahead and clean off the ground point and I'll clean up the bolt as well so once you get the connector out of the uh, plastic housing you can actually open it up very carefully like this and clean and polish all of the pins inside and outside so that's nice and shiny and once I've done this I will go ahead and reassemble it with fresh dielectric grease just to keep the uh, water from getting back into this connector so I cleaned all the uh, these pins as well deep pinned it cleaned every single connection again coated it in dielectric grease reassembled it reassembled just fine um, clean this little ground loop this is for the wiper motor and then I don't know if you can see it but I did go ahead and come back in here and I clean all the paint off around the bolt area so when it gets bolted up it's gonna go bolted against fresh clean sheet metal now I will coat this with dielectric grease as well just to prevent corrosion but I think this should solve the grounding problems I was having earlier all right so got the battery reconnected got the Sykes hooked up here so let's first watch the voltage gauge and then we'll check to see the uh, flashers if they flash now that we've done this modification voltage gauge holding steady and the flashers are no longer flashing with the fan so I'd say that fixed this problem So if you guys thought this video was interesting or helpful, please let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.